Welcome to Lighthouse Point, Florida, a canal-infused city located just north of Fort Lauderdale and home to one of my latest listings. My name is Will Knopfsinger, Miami-based yacht broker with Dennis and Yachting, and we're here aboard a stunning 75-footer known affectionately to our owners as Forever 5. Built in England by Princess Yachts and delivered in 2006 to her original owner, this 75 defines what success looks like in the eyes of a yacht builder and epitomizes the features buyers look for in this size range. When this model was first introduced, it quickly became wildly popular, especially here in the Americas and for good reason. The success of this model laid the foundation for what Princess Yachts has become, one of the most coveted production style motor yachts on the water. And a question you might be having right now is why? The answer to this question is pretty simple and straightforward. Forever 5 delivers in four major categories that are extremely critical when selecting a yacht. Performance, style, aesthetics, and quality. Let's begin today's tour here on the aft deck so you can see exactly what I'm talking about and why so many people are repeat Princess yacht buyers. Princess is well known for sleek, sexy yachts around the globe. Sitting here on Forever 5's aft deck, soaking in the sun, gives you little reason to wonder why. This space in front of you is perfect for connecting with your friends and family around a beautiful teak table, the deck's primary feature. It's great for dining or watching the game on the 32-inch Samsung in front of you while sipping well-dressed cocktails. As we walk around here and elsewhere aboard this yacht, take note of the newer teak decks underfoot, not an inexpensive endeavor. It's the serious upgrades like this and the overall condition of Forever 5 that makes her the best 75 Princess available for sale in the world. From a practical standpoint, we see a flight of stairs to the upper decks that we're gonna come back to later. Just starboard of this, a convenient and well-concealed helm station for easy docking in your next port of call. Continuing aft and sticking with the docking theme, we see cleats, line storage, and a windlass, features that are mirrored on the port side as well. Her Euro-style transom provides easy access to the swim platform from either side and feature an extra element of safety with lockable doors to prevent access while underway. A few steps down takes us to the swim platform. It's large enough to accommodate a jet ski and the owner outfitted her with removable safety rails for extra comfort, much like those seen on larger yachts. Turning and facing forward, we have a hydraulically accessed storage locker to keep fenders and lines located to starboard and to port, this watertight door taking us to the crew quarters and engine room, our next stop on today's tour. This utility space in front of you is an excellent storage solution and home to a commercial grade ice maker. From here, hanging a left takes us to the cruise head and then beyond that, side-by-side -side berths found in the cruise quarters. From here, we can access the heart and soul of Forever 5 through a watertight door. The most prominent feature here are the upgraded CAD engines. These come in at a mean 1,675 horsepower each, satisfying your need for speed by pushing this yacht to an impressive 30 knot cruise. The incredibly well thought out interior is what sets Princess apart from the competition. It places them firmly in the driver's seat from a desirability standpoint. This yacht is an ideal setup for a family to cruise and the salon is just the beginning. Stepping through a huge stainless steel lined glass door brings us to the elegant yet warm and open salon. Princess did an excellent job creating a conversation pit for you to surround yourself with friends and family. To port, we have a U-shaped sofa adjacent to a comfortable love seat with pop-up 50-inch screen TV behind. Just to the right of this sofa is a conveniently located Avanti wine cooler. Huge windows allow natural light to pour into the space and give you and your guests a constant connection with the seascapes around you. Rounding out the salon as we head forward are interior stairs that access the flybridge. At this point in our walkthrough, it's prudent to stop and point out something that Princess Yachts got early on when they began importing these boats to the United States. For a U.S. buyer, a galley that's connected to the salon is of the utmost importance. Most European yachts emphasize a concealed and tucked away galley. On the Princess 75, they tossed out that line of thinking and gave us the proper kitchen you see here. A couple of key features to this galley are sub-zero refrigeration, granite countertops, a cooktop, a mealy dishwasher, 
and access to the side decks via a watertight door. In the event that you prefer a European style galley, a partition wall raises up, sealing it off. Adjacent to the galley and to starboard is the yacht's indoor formal dining area with seating for eight around a gorgeous high gloss table. Continuing forward takes us to the lower home and a breakfast nook. This circular settee to port is a great place to start your day and enjoy a cup of coffee, but the area is twofold. It becomes a very special viewing area to gather while underway and keep the captain company. Your passion for getting behind the wheel and curing your need for speed wasn't forgotten. This luxury sedan inspired home sets you or your captain up perfectly with two bucket seats to situate yourself in ultimate comfort. This helm station is especially great for long crossings during the summer, when it's certain the climate controlled environment will not go unnoticed. The console features an array of electronics and instrumentation, most notably the new Garmin 7612. Checking further to the right, you'll find a side power bow and stern thruster, giving you impressive docking manners. Taking the flight of stairs here forward brings us to some pretty impressive and ultra luxurious accommodations. We're going to hang a U-turn and head down the stairs to the master stateroom featuring a full island king bed. This richly decorated room features a total of six oval-shaped windows that paint the room with a stunning backdrop along your travels. In the comfort of the stateroom, lull yourself to sleep with blackout shades or watch your favorite movie in a private cinema setting on the new 50-inch Samsung TV. This room has everything from a vanity and makeup station to a full walk-in closet for all those evenings ashore. Heading to the starboard side and aft takes us to the master head and bath. That's right, bath on a 75 foot yacht. This is really more than just a head on a yacht. It's a legitimate bathroom and nothing short of lavish. And the centerpiece, a drop in jacuzzi style tub with full body shower. As we head forward, you'll find the first of three guest staterooms to starboard. This room is set up with two single size berths in an over-under L-shaped configuration. Just after this, you'll find this room's ensuite, which doubles as the vessel's day head. Directly across the companionway to port is the second guest stateroom. This room has accommodations that are strikingly similar to the previous, but with side-by-side -side berths instead of the over-under. Its ensuite is located just forward. As we exit and head toward the VIP, we pass the yacht's laundry center to starboard. The last stop, located all the way forward, is an aptly sized VIP with centerline queen, substantial storage, and its own private ensuite head. Our next stop is the foredeck. And if you're anything like me, you're going to spend a lot of time on the hook. Here is where all the ground tackle for the yacht's located. That tackle consists of an anchor chute, windlass, and most importantly, the anchor itself. Turning aft, we see the yacht's obligatory sun pad. Welcome to the flybridge, the last stop on today's walkthrough. This area is where you're going to find yourself most frequently, and for good reason. What's not to like? And thankfully, Forever 5 has been outfitted with a factory hardtop to keep you out of the sun. Starting aft and working our way forward, we see a davit for all your toys, and a huge conversation pit beyond that, where you'll be busy making memories around the barbecue and countless sunsets and sunrises at your beck and call. The beauty of this flybridge is it keeps you surrounded by those most near and dear to you at all times. Located all the way forward, we have the upper and primary helm station. It's been equipped with the same instruments and electronics we saw below, including that Garmin 7212. That concludes today's tour aboard Motor Yacht Forever 5. I appreciate you joining us on today's walkthrough, and I hope you found it to be both informative and educational. If you have any further questions or you'd like to schedule a private showing, please reach out to me, and you can always find me online at Yachtslinger.